So I'd like to reflect a little bit on my songwriting process in the hopes that it might be relevant to you and your creative work. In particular, I'm going to focus on my fondness for making mistakes on purpose. I'm not just talking about choosing to pursue music as a career, although that is a horrendous <laughs> mistake, financially speaking. I'm talking about a different variety. I'm talking about carving a space in your routine or your practice where the unfamiliar can express itself, where mutations are inevitable. I'll give you an example. Sometimes when I'm recording a song, I'll ask a friend to collaborate with me to add another layer on top of the song in progress. And one of my favorite things to try is to ask them to play their instrument along with the song the very first time they ever hear it, and I'm there to record what happens. Can you imagine how disorienting that is, being asked to perform and be recorded along to a song that you've never heard? It's like flying blind. I mean, they don't know what key the song is in, what the time signature is, what the tempo is, when the chorus is going to hit. And in that situation, it's impossible to make a well-reasoned musical decision. What you're left with is just gut instinct. And so later, when I listen back to those first takes, yeah, most of it's trash and unusable. But I'm astonished by how often there's like a precious or naive moment that will open the song up and I can copy and paste it in the song where it's needed and it's perfect. Another example of an approach that I take with songwriting is actually using that homemade looping software thing that I made up like many years ago. But normally when I use it, it's completely different than how I used it today, because normally there's no audience, and I don't know what I'm going to play in advance. Everything's imp improvised. So the first layer just comes out of thin air, I guess, and then the second layer can react to the first layer, and the third layer has the first two layers to play off of, and so on and so forth. So with each new layer, there's no pressure. I'm not asking myself, is this going to be good enough for the album? Is it going to fit the chorus or the verse? Is it going to clash with something? That's all irrelevant. The only thing that matters is having a sensation for whether what is happening in the spontaneous improvised moment, whether something is working, and if it is, just capture it. Stop thinking about it, just capture it, and you move on to the next layer. When this outpouring of musical ideas is finished, what remains is a collection 
of sound files on a hard drive that are all about the same length, and it's easy to restructure and reshuffle them like building blocks to form a proper song. And again, I'm astonished by how often a musical idea that I didn't like or that I I got frustrated and I did it as a joke or something I don't remember having recorded or something where I played it wrong, these things so often become like pivotal, essential elements in a song. So I might suggest that when you make a mistake, it might just be the most brilliant thing you did all day. And in fact, puzzling over the creative process inspired some lyrics to that song that I began a moment ago, and I'll add those on top just for fun. Has it flashed before my eyes like rain crashing from the sky? I am shaken by the sight Before I can find the plan It is gone in the wind Broken string on the way cried Thanks so much.